Okay, so here's a quick look at how to make a button non-clickable. So here we go, we go into a page. The first thing we'll do is we'll create a button. So there's a button. I'll keep it this default text and I won't bother giving it a URL. So if I click apply and click save, you'll see that I have a button, but uh, let me have a look. Uh, I'll put it into the, my main site so we can look at it not logged in. So here it is uh, on the live site. If I click on the button, you'll see it refreshes the page. And, that's, and, and also you notice you get the finger pointer as you roll over the button. So we don't want that. So what we need to do is find a way of overcoming that. So the first thing we do is there is a component that uh, is a Chrome browser add-in. It's called the Squarespace Collection and Block Identifier. If you turn that add-on on, you'll see that the collection name for this page and the various blocks that make up the page are highlighted. The button block has this code here, which I've just copied to the clipboard. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a document and write a rule to make that bot button non-clickable. Here's a blank document. The first thing I need to do is to put the name of that block in, uh, and then I need to work out what the button is. Inspect it. Has it got a button container? It's going to be the A-Link, I believe. Let's just yeah, so in that container, the A link here. So we're saying only in that block and only for the link, change the pointer events to be non. And just in case, I'm going to give this an important, just in case there's a more specific rule that's controlling the button. So we take that, we go back to our site go back to the editing, we go back to doing design, and in custom CSS, and I'll go down the bottom of my custom CSS just so it doesn't get overridden by anything else by mistake, although it shouldn't do because it's very specific. Go right to the bottom of my custom CSS and paste in that rule, click on save. Now I go back to my website, refresh the page, and now what should happen is that as I roll over, there you go, it's just a label block, so that works. And uh, now I'm going to stop the video.